Okay, welcome. What I'm going to show you here today is how to create a franchise territory map from zip codes using Mango Map, which is an online mapping platform, cloud-based. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial at mangomap.com. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new layer to my map. I'm going to click the Add Layer tab, and I'm going to upload a new file. In this case, I'm going to upload a shapefile, and there are four files, an SHP, a DBF, a PIJ, and an SHX. Okay, and once the file is uploaded, we can click Save to store it in the account. Okay, and we now have the option to style the layer. I'm not going to do terribly much at this stage because I'm going to add territories first, but let me just set the transparency to 40% and save that. Now if I zoom in on the US where these zip codes are, and I click on one of these zip codes, I get a pop-up of information. Uh, so this is the demographic information that's been provided along with this data. It might be more, it might be less, depending on um, where you got the data. You'll notice that the, the column names are a little bit cryptic, a little bit short. So the next thing we're going to do is to change those names so they're more meaningful. So I go to my Layers tab. I'm going to go to Edit the Zips layer. Click the Formatting tab. And now I'm going to change the label for those column names, those field names. So this is going to be zip code, total population, total house holds, population per square mile, median income. And because this is a dollar value, I'm going to format it as dollar median age, which I'm just going to make a whole number, and then employ and rate, territory name, and territory status. Now these last two are important because I'm going to use these to do my territory mapping in a moment. I'm not going to save that. Now if I click a zip code, I should see those labels instead of the original column name. So it's much easier to read. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to format this pop-up to look a bit nicer. So I'm going to go back to Layers, Edit the Layer, go to Pop-up, and I'm going to switch to Custom. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is move the territory name and status to the top here. I'm going to format it with a header style. I'm going to put in a line break. And I'm going to put it in a table that's three, six, seven rows high. Seven rows and two columns. Let's try that again. I'm going to insert a table here with seven rows and two columns. And I'm just going to cut and paste that text into the table. Like so. And then I'm going to move the value the right hand column. And the last thing I'm going to do is make this text bold. There we go. I'm going to save that again. Now if I click a zip code, I should see a nicely formatted pop-up, like so. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is start assigning zip codes to a territory. 
So in this example, somebody's given me a list of three zip codes that I want to assign to a new territory. And those zip codes are 44116, Rocky River, Ohio. There it is, 44116. Now if I click on that zip code, you see I get a row of buttons here that allows me to edit the information. So I'm going to edit the attributes and scroll down. The territory name is going to be Rocky River. And the status is available. I'm going to save that. Now because I've named my first territory, I'm going to go and update my legend to display the territories. I'm going to switch to a category style. I'm going to choose territory name. I'm going to change the color palette. I'm going to make the opacity 40%. And for the outline, I'm going to make it 30%. If I go to my custom legend here, you'll see I've got a color for the Rocky River Territory, and I've got a color for everything else. I'm just going to set that to white. Okay, so you can see we've got the Rocky River Territory in green there. I'm just going to copy that text because I'm going to use it again. So the next zip code I want to assign is 44107. It's right next door. Again, click the zip code, edit the attributes. Set the name to Rocky River and the status to available. Save. And the final one is 44145. Okay, there are my three zip codes forming my new territory. Now, if I add a new territory, let's say I'm going to add a, a new one for Cleveland here. At first, the zip code will disappear because it's not in my legend, so I just need to refresh my legend. So I go back to the style tab, go to custom legend, and I click restore class breaks to default. So that's going to rebuild the legend with that new territory. Set that back to white and save. And there I have my two territories. Now the next thing we might want to know is what's the total population and the demographics across this entire territory, across these three zip codes. So to find that out, I need to configure my query tool. So I've got a toolbox, query tool, turn the query tool on, set the measurement units. I can leave some instructions here. Set the layer name. I can filter by value. So that's going to be the territory name. And I can filter by area or location. I want to view the results as a report. I'm going to add a report widget, a custom widget. I'm going to build that. There's some pre filled information here, which I'm just going to remove. And I'm going to add my, my own. So I'm going to add total population, total households, the average of the median income measures across those zip codes, the average of the median age across those zip codes, and the average of the unemployment rate. 
just going to format that with the header style and put in some text. Spacing right. Save that. Now you can see I've got a query tool activated here. So if I click that, I can choose a territory name, for example, Rocky River. I can go get results. It's going to select all the zip codes in the Rocky River territory. I can view that as a table so I can see the individual zip code data. I can also download that to a spreadsheet or I can generate re my report which is going to give me the totals across those three zip codes. So there we have it. There's 100,000, 103,000 people across those three zip codes, around 47,000 households, a median income of 66,000, median age of 42 and an unemployment rate of 43. Now the last thing I need to do is set a name for my map. So let's call this Cleveland Territories. I need to decide who can access this map. Uh, I'm going to make it hidden, which will allow me to share it with other people without the need for a password but the URL can't be discovered by search engines. And then the final step is to put this map online. I then click share map and I can email the link to the map to whoever needs it. And that's it for today. Thanks for your attention.